Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at five alternatives to buying a hot tub. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so not everybody wants to buy a plastic shell or not everybody likes the plastic shell hot tubs that are available on the market. So in this video, I'm gonna look at five alternatives to buying one. Now, if you follow my blog or this channel, you'll know that I talk all about building DIY hot tubs and plunge pools. So there's no surprise that in this video, my five alternatives to buying a hot tub revolve around building your own. So before we jump in and look at these different options, please do subscribe to the channel. It just gives me loads of motivation to make these videos. Hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I put two long form videos out every single week and a whole bunch of shorts as well. And everything is centered around DIY hot tubs, air source heat pumps, building your own swimming pools, plunge pools, and cocktail pools and, and everything in between. So please do subscribe to the channel if you're liking this kind of content. So, Alternative number one, well, it's a stock tank hot tub. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with a stock tank, a stock tank is a metal animal feeder and it looks something like this. Now, what you can actually do is convert these into a hot tub. Now, on my online store, I actually have a whole bunch of products that will actually help you do this. I have the plumbing kits, I have diagrams, I have guides and loads and loads of information on how to convert a stock tank into a hot tub. And when you do it, it can look something like this. Now, how cool is that? So really kind of out there, different, modern feel, perfect for Airbnbs, that kind of thing, just to kind of set yourselves apart from your competition. So my first alternative to buying a hot tub is building a stock tank hot tub. Alternative number two, well, it's kind of along the same lines as a stock tank, but this is a horse trough hot tub. Believe it or not, this is a thing. And this is a horse trough here. And with the same kind of a kit, you can actually convert these into a hot tub. And they tend to be more sort of either one or two person tubs rather than the stock tanks, which are much bigger and you, know, you can have five or six people in there comfortably. A horse trough hot tub, is more, as I said, for one or two people, and it's another great alternative to buying a hot tub. Number three is a wooden hot tub. Now, there's a lot of different options available for you to build. So there's hot tubs that look like this, which are more of the kind of barrel style, but you can actually build them square as well. And here we have uh, Brandon's hot tub. Now, Brandon's a case study on the website. If you uh, want to check that out, have a look at buildahottub.com. And in the case study section, it, it, Brandon's given me loads and loads of information about how he built his wooden liner hot tub because he didn't want to buy one either. So it's totally possible to build either the, the barrel style or a square DIY wooden hot tub that is, as I said, it's an alternative to buying your own. Number four. What about converting a IBTL water tank into a hot tub? And this is also known as a pallet hot tub. If you've heard that term being banded around on the internet in on the online forums, this is what I mean. And this is kind of what these look like. So the water tanks, as they are water tanks, they're obviously designed to hold that body of water. So you're not gonna worry about the waterproofing or anything like that. And you can give it a real rustic feel and you can create something like this. So this was created by a customer of mine over in Israel. Now, Ivory had a great IBTL hot tub project that I helped him with. And again, this is a case study on the website. If you wanna check that out, again, it's buildahottub.com. Look in the case study section and you can see just how Ivory progressed with that IBTL water tank, converting it into a fully functional hot tub. It really does look pretty cool. Now, Ivory's build was also done by, it's kind of scavenged materials. He, he likes to recycle and reuse. So none of the materials, apart from the plumbing side of things, he actually bought, they were all you know, reclaimed and recycled, which is really, really cool. And finally, the big focus on this channel and indeed on my blog 
is block built and concrete built hot tubs. And here's a few behind me, pretty straightforward to do. Again, I've got all the information that you need on the website, there's designs, there's guides, there's parts and pretty much everything in between. So as you can see, there are alternatives to buying a hot tub. Some are a lot more quirky than others, but they are all viable alternatives rather than buying a tub off the shelf. So hopefully you found this short video useful. Of course, if I can help you with your DIY hot tub project, then please do get in touch. Hit me up in the comments, get in touch via the website. Again, it's buildhottub.com. As always, I appreciate the view. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.